Good evening, a warm welcome to State of Business RTV's Prime Time News Bulletin with me, Rukshi Panditaratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Government's external debt outstanding stands at $25.61 billion. And GMOA meets Professor Carlo Fonseca and urges him to stay as SLMC chairman. And today on Top Stories, total government revenue in nominal terms has increased by 24.6 percent to Rs 589,017 million during the first four months of 2017. This was mentioned in the mid-year fiscal position report released by the Treasury. The tax revenue increased by 25.6 percent to Rs 554,294 million during the first four months of 2017 from Rs 441,211 million in the same period of 2016. It reflected an increase in the revenues from income tax, domestic consumption-based taxes and import-based taxes. The domestic consumption-based taxes increased by 32.3% to Rs 177,153 million. Meanwhile, by the end of April 2017, the total outstanding external debt of the government was $25.61 billion. Total debt service payments from 1st of January to 30th April 2017 amounted to $713.4 million, of which $332.9 million was paid for principal repayments and the balance $313.3 million were paid for interest payment. According to the report, the total estimated debt service payment for 2017 is US dollars 2,183 million, of which 30% has already been paid. Leader of the Democratic Left Front, UPFA MP Vasudeva Nanayakara, urges the government to solve this item issue without delay. Nanayakara pointed out that the issue will surely lead to an unprecedented situation. <laughs> May Illy made the repat Karaganian. I under the notice till at Yeno. Ecomeca Visanan, Emnatanga Pistilina, Mabalea, Ecavacriat Macar, Emacriat Nagunot, Asuata Suname, Neme, Panastuni Hartale, Siduim, Ikmaiana, and do a capoticarana, Janata Negitimak, Ativena Bava, Apikiva Utui. The officials of the Government Medical Officers Association today met with Professor Carlo Fonseca to urge him to remain as the chairman of Sri Lanka Medical Council. GMOA President Dr. Anuruddha Padaniya and several other officials of the trade union visited the home of Professor Carlo Fonseca this morning. Here they have handed over a letter to him urging him to stay in the position until the SITEM issue is solved positively. <laughs> Mahachara Kalo Ponseka Kina Sadegate Hagi Hilla Merate Tiena Sauke Padati Hemanata, why the Akna Panata Bindavatime Tarjani Akama Mimote at Vilatin Enisa Apiswasa Karnoa, Me Saturnedi, Boma Danat Maka Savare Gitapu Mahachara Kalo Ponseka Mahatmia Vagi Kene Saturna Metaram Dura Avat Passe, Me Saturna Tirnat Maka Nimavak Dakina Pere, Me Saturna Vukta Venega Nehaikila, Aum Vashin. May Saitam Satana, Hemata Saitam Nisa Ativilatin Arbude Subavadi Nimavak Dakina Tek, Why the Sabavi Sabavati Vare Alessa Akan never Kati to Karanakin Ilima to Magin Karan. Meanwhile, a group of civil organizations have formed a new alliance named Saitam Virodi Jana Paura. They disclosed their future course of actions during a media conference in Colombo today. Etokota Api Eking Pradana Tirana Kipa Gatta. එකක් තමයි සයිටම් විරෝධී ජාතික සමුළුවක් අපි පවත්වනවා මේ මාසේ 20 වෙනිදා සයිටම් විරෝධී කාරණේ මූලික කරගෙන ඒ සමුළුවේදී අපි ප්‍රබල තීන්දු තීරණ ගණනාවක් ගන්න නියමිතයි ජාතික විරෝධතා දින ජාතික වැඩවර්ජන ක්‍රියාවලියකට යන්න Let's take a look at more news after this break Welcome back. 
Director General of Public Health Dr. Jayasundar Bandaro says dengue menace cannot be addressed by passing the ball from one to another. He said everybody should commit fully to address this issue. Vidyatmuko Varta when Yasuda Hat. Abai Vidyatmuko Varta no Dengu Hoging in the Pulva. Namu Dengu Marana Sialam Varta Vati. Can a Bellu Bell but Dasamatuna Paki Penwata, Dasama Dekakata Adu Marana Sankia, Tamai Boho Vitapi, Balapur Twin, Eka Munda in a way, Tamahare Valaka Ganabe, may Miagi a Boho Rogin, Rohalate in Nema, Boho Vita, Leaking Pace Natinam, Shock Palat Langvela, Dengu Ratipati Unatibila, Apitan Woman I. Rogin Sankya Vadukirima, Rogin Sankya Vadukirimedi, Ekinekata, Bola Paskaran, Rogin Sankya Vadukaran, Hammer Puruas Yekma, Tamangi Bumika, we took a Pamanamai, Karanapulam. Let's take a look at stocks after this break. Welcome back. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended in a mixed note today due to price gains in counters such as Commercial Leasing and Finance, Ceylon Tobacco Company and Sri Lanka Telecom. The All Share Price Index gained 20.74 points to close at 6,758.24 and the SNPSL 20 Index dropped by 4.62 points to close the session at 3,904.32. The turnover was 429.1 million rupees and 45 million shares were traded. High net worth and institutional investor participation was witnessed in John Key's Holdings and Richard Peary's and Company. Mixed interest was observed in Lanka Century Investments, Commercial Bank and Ceylon Investment, whilst retail interest was noted in Dankotua Porcelain. Meanwhile, foreigners closed as net buyers mainly due to foreign purchasing in Richard Peary's and Company and John Key's Holdings. Let's take a look at today's Forex rates. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.